Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the James Den Show. It's great to be back. It's great to be back on YouTube after being away for so while, for so long, <laughs> because of the pandemic. And it's great to be back. It's great for to have some normalcy back in society. Um, I'm here to do a video because of the Arcade One Up price hike, and I feel I'm very disappointed in that price hike. So I would like to take the time to discuss that, as well as showing off two of the new arcade machines that are welcome to the family you guys haven't seen yet. I just recently got them, like about a month ago. And uh, they're not new, but uh, they're new to me because they wasn't in my collection. So without any further ado, let's jump into this discussion and showing off the new arcade machines that I have in my collection. So grab a popcorn. Sit back in your couch and let's enjoy the show. And hello guys and welcome back. Um, the last time we did this show was like six months ago, seven months ago, I believe, maybe eight. Um, so I started my arcade machines with just the first two, which was Centipede and Street Fighter. Then next on my list was Rampage, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NBA Jams. But then I started moving, getting one more, and I got Marvel Superheroes. So now let me introduce you guys new to my family, and it's been out for a while, but it's not totally new, and that is Pac-Man and Mortal Kombat. Now, I got these machines because simply I was always a Mortal Kombat fan. Um, even on my PC right now, I have Mortal Kombat 11, Mortal Kombat 10. Um, I still do play that at occasion, when I feel like <laughs> playing. But uh, I had to get Pac-Man. Because I remember dominating Pac-Man in the arcades. Um, I used to have people play dollar, two dollars, three dollars. Just to get me off to play Pac-Man. And always playing two players up. And I used to kill Pac-Man. And Miss Pac-Man, I used to kill both of them. And uh, I used to spend hours and hours on two quarters just playing and just having fun. So it brought back memories to get this machine. And um, not only do you get these machines, but you also get 12 games. Yes, folks, 12 games. So the 12 games you get with having Pac-Man, as you see, is it's starting up because you got to hit the one button. Okay, so now you see you get Pac-Man, Pac-Pal, Super Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Pac-Man, Pac-Land, Pac-Mania, Galaga, Galaxian, Mappy. I don't think I remember that one. Anyway, uh, Dig Dug, Dig Dug 2, and Ramirez. I don't think I remember that one either. So, but those are the games that you get with the Pac-Man cabinet. And as you can see... The Pac-Man cabinet is set up pretty good where they even have the fake coin slot machine. Why would you put that there if you're not going to put the original or the real coin slot there? Why would you put a decal of a coin slot? Makes me wonder, RK1 up, makes me wonder. But anyway, let's move over to Mortal Kombat. So with Mortal Kombat, you get... Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Ultimate Mortal Kombat, Tubin. If you don't know what Tubin is, Tubin is the tube thing in the water where you go through obstacles. Rampage, Joust, Wizard of War, Gauntlet, Root Beer Tapper is where you serve beer to multiple people and you got to make sure they catch the beer before it, it hits the ground. Defender, Bubbles, and Paperboy. Paperboy, I remember, because Paperboy, you had to deliver paper to people houses and certain people houses as as you deliver in paper you go through obstacles and courses where cars try to hit you 
kids who's doing uh, um, street dancing on the street, try to, you know, interfere with your route. Dogs chasing you, cars running across intersections trying to hit you, and then you finally hit the course where you jump over dirt, go through uh, combs and stuff like that, and get to the end to get a bonus at the end. So uh, that was always a classic for me. Um, but uh, it was good that this cabinet also give you 12 games, and so it was wonderful to have. If you look at the collections that I have with Rampage, and mind you, this Rampage Gauntlet Joust Defender cabinet is also on Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat has the same game as was Rampage. Is. So the 12 games on here aren't totally new. The Paperboy and the Tubin are the new addition to the cabinet. But everything else I already have except for Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Then you have uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which you guys remember that one, Turtles in Time. I'm still getting the light up marquee for that one for both these cabinets and for the rest because I want all of them to light up. And it's not fair that I got three that light up like NBA Gems, Pac-Man, and Mortal Kombat. And then I don't have these guys lit up, which is Centipede, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat. So it takes time to get these things, uh, to get them. Because uh, that's another thing we need to address, folks. And that is RK1UP has jacked up the price. Yes, folks, they have jacked up the price. So, in order for you to get Pac-Man, it's no longer $2.99. Even with the Riser, which was $3.99, no longer $3.99. $6.49 to get Pac-Man. And I'm assuming, since they took this off, Mortal Kombat off their website, I'm assuming this is going to be $6.49 too. Now, this is the craziest thing about it, which I don't understand. You jacking up prices on replicas these are not original authentic arcade machine the authentic arcade machines are bigger are much heavier and they have coin slots not these bootleg decal strap-ons that you put on these arcade machines to make them look like they're real they are not real rk one up they're real to play they're close to the original but they aren't the original ones the original ones, the arcade, the big giant ones, those go for like $3,000, $4,000 because they are original. Those are the ones you find in the arcade back in the days. Or, you know, you, you can find them if you go to Las Vegas. Las Vegas has an arcade machine. One of the biggest arcade machines they have ever in Vegas. And that is at the Orleans. Okay? And they have these original arcade machines. Now, those are, are the original. They are the classic. They are the ones that you got to buy three, four $4,000 to purchase to have in your home. People who can afford them can drop $3,000, $4,000. People who can't afford them can go, ha -ha, I'd rather go get RK1 up, which was two ninety nine, which was a good steal when you went to Walmart, Target, Best Buys, uh, uh, GameStop, and you got them for two ninety nine. But to raise the price... And check this out. The Simpsons cabinet came out. It's about a couple of weeks ago. And it's $7.99. $7.99 for a replica, a duplicate, a copy of the original. Why would you do that, RK10? Why? So I did I did a little research. I did a little digging. And come to find out, the reason why they was doing it is because. Rumor has it, you know, say rumor has it, that there was short of lumber. Okay, it takes a lot of wood to make these cabinets, especially these side panels. It does take a lot of wood, but it still doesn't justify you raising the price up to something that is a replica, a duplicate, a copy of the original. I, to me, I, I, I don't understand that. I just don't understand that. Now, if you gave me something big bang for my bucks, 
to make it where it's worth that much of a price, then I can see it. Like if you add the coin slot or you make these machines a lot more taller, a lot more wider, a lot more bigger, where you have much a much more space for a two player, um, for two player action. See, these are all cramped up because the originals was wide enough so you had space to play with other people. This right here as a replica, a duplicate, a copy, there's no space. So you're pretty much cramped up when you're playing four players. Look at your two players, your three players. This is not enough space, RK1. So unless you give me something that says it's worth me spending eight, seven, nine hundred dollars for. Look at Tron. Tron is about to come out later this this month. How much you think that's gonna be? If you haven't seen Tron, go online and look at Tron on RK1up.com. Look at the Tron. It's a beautiful case. It's a beautiful cabinet. The decals, everything looks just like the original from back in the days when they came out in the 80s, in the 90s. So, I mean, even the, even the joystick, the flight controller lights up and it has these beautiful neon lights. But if you're selling that for $799, $800 for only two games, okay, number one is two games. And it's one is with Tron and the other one is Disc of Tron. Let's sink let's let's let me give you a minute to sink that in, ladies and gentlemen, in YouTube. Sink that in. Two games. Two. For seven ninety nine seven ninety nine or eight hundred and ninety nine, whatever the price may be. We won't know the price until the pre orders come out. But I guarantee you it's gonna be up there with Simpsons or above Simpsons because it's it's a different cabinet. It has more features. It has more pretty lights. It has all these other stuff that's that's on there. But you still get two games. And I like Tron, but I wasn't a Tron fan. So unless you was a huge fan and you're going to constantly keep playing Tron over and over and over and over again. And you don't mind dropping $7.99, $8.99. Yeah. Think about that. Let it sink in. Let it sink in, boys and girls. Let it sink in. Because these are replicas. These are copies. These are not original arcade machines. So, RK1, what are you doing? You had a fan base when you was dropping these things out for $299, $399. You had a fan base. Now, if you think you're going to sell out or drop out, all that cabinet, and I don't know how many cabinets you make in one shot for your pre-orders, but I guarantee you, if you're selling out, you're selling out by only 10. So if you drop in 10 cabinets, of course you're going to sell 10 cabinets. And those 10 cabinets are going to go to the people who got money who can afford $7.99, $8.99. So that's not really a sellout. A sellout is when you're selling out more than 26,000 or 30,000 units. Take PlayStation. PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. PlayStation 5 probably sold more than what RK will do with one cabinet. Now that's a sellout. That's a sellout when you cannot find a PlayStation 5. That's a sellout. Think about it. Let that sink in. But those are consoles. Those are video game consoles. Those are the originals. What you're selling here, RK1UP, are replicas. Duplicate copies of the original. And for you to sell them at this ridiculous price, you're losing your fan base. And I guarantee you, the, the money that you was making at $299, $399, you're not going to make at $799, $899. $799.
So to me, I can't afford to keep doing these machines. If they would have kept it at two ninety nine, it would have been it would have been good. I would have been keep building up my my uh, list of game, uh, arcade machines to have. But for a four foot replica to a six foot replica, and you want to sell it for that price? Sorry, arcade. Okay, one up. You just no, it's it's just not gonna happen. So my question to everyone in YouTube land, and put your comments down below. Do you think these arcade machines, these and the ones that's coming out in the future, are worth six ninety nine, seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine? And the reason why I keep throwing out the eight ninety nine is because look online, look at the pinball machines. Mind you, the pinball machines are just the biggest screen size that's just flat surface and it's all on digital. The pinball machines aren't the original pinball machines. They're on a TV screen. That's on a software. Pinball machines, actual arcade pinball machine comes with actual balls with tracks, lighting, flippers that you can actually use. And you flip the balls around and get them in certain tracks to get extra bonuses. Those are the original pinball machines, RK one up. Not replicas. Not replicas of pinballs that's on a 23-inch screen TV. Those are <laughs> not something you would sell at $8.99. Star Wars, pinball machine, $8.99. Really? Replicas. Replicas. Copies. Please, people. And I think everyone should stand up and say, you know what? You guys was rocking with $2.99. $3.99 was the cutoff point. That was the cutoff point for normal people who don't have six-figure jobs. And who doesn't have that kind of money to spend on a $7.99, $6.99, $7.99, $8.99 arcade replicas. But when you were selling them for $2.99, $3.99, you was making bank. I know you did, Arcade One Up. You made bank. And now you're not gonna make bank. So you done shot yourself in the foot. Should have kept it the same. Unless you're going to give these people more bangs for their buck, it's not worth the money to buy these machines. Not at the price that you're saying. Now, if they was original, authentic arcade machines, the classic ones, the big jumbo machines with the CRTVs and the, co and the actual physical coin slot machines, that act, the coin box that actually works, then I could see $899, $999. Because that's what they go for in the arcade. You go online, you look for them, that's what they go for. A thousand, two thousand dollars, three thousand dollars the most. Outrun, the original art outrun arcade machine with the booth, with the soft cushion booth, not the one that arcade one up has with the hard booth that makes you sit down too long on the damn thing and it hurts your ass. You want seven ninety nine for that. Six forty nine. The original one, bigger, wider, comfier, wheel control, CRTV classics, big bubble CR. If you, if you don't, you guys don't know what the CRTVs are. They're the big dome bubble, uh, big bubble dome classic uh, old TVs, and things was heavy as heck. Those were the original ones. Those was worth. $3,000, $4,000 online. And it's very seldomly you could find that because it was not that many that was made. People who wanted those, rich people who use, have them as classic, as collectibles, have bought them. Buyers like myself and other people who don't have the capital to do that, nah, we can't find that. And if we did, we don't have the money to pay for that. Unless you make it six figures, there's no way. Unless you got money, extra money laying on the side and you don't mind kicking away, then they are. But for this, no. 
Yeah. So our RK one up, you have to come with something approachable, better, different than what you're doing right now. Because right now you're shooting yourself in the foot. I'm sorry. And I like you guys. I really do. I like what you was doing, but I don't like what you're doing now. And as you're raising the prices, it's totally ridiculous. So enough rambling, enough having a fit and raging about it. I want you guys opinion. I want your suggestions. Put it down in the box. Do you think these things are worth buying? Would you buy them? Would you buy Pac-Man? Would you buy Mortal Kombat? Now that the prices are jacked up, would you buy the Simpsons? Would you buy the Tron? Which was probably going to be that much. And I'm sure Buck Hunter, which I wanted to get, is probably $7.99 because it's huge and it comes with light guns, so they jacked the price up for it. When it normally should have been $3.99, I'm sure it's probably $7.99 now. Would you buy that? Once again, let's have this debate. Who will buy them? Who would not buy them? I'd like to know in your comments down below. Put them down below in the suggestion box. Put your comments down there. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys once again for coming to the show. Listen to my rap and rave. And also, thank you for guys for coming in and checking out the new two new games that I do get. Maybe these will be my last one because, like I said, I can't afford the prices that they have right now. It's just too ridiculous. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, and, um, once again, thank you for coming to the show. I appreciate it. Those who have been, been my subscribers, uh, thank you for being patient. Thank you for still being subscribed to my channel. Um, and thank you for, uh, wanting me to come back. Um, so if you like this video and you find this information good, it makes you really, really think on whether you think it's worth buying these things. And you'd like to see more of this content, please hit that like button. Um, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'd like you to join the family of the James Dent Show. Um, if you have an NBA cabinet, of course, uh, come play with me. It's the James Dent Show. Uh, actually, not with the, it's James Dent Show, J-A-M-E-S. D-E-N-T-S-H, no O, just a W. I'm also on Xbox, and I'm also on PlayStation 4, if you guys are willing to want to play a couple of games with me. So, I put them all down in the description down below, all of everything that I discussed, even the RK one up link, if you want to go check out the RK cabinets that they have there, and look at the ridiculous prices that they have. Um... So, once again, guys, thank you for being patient. Thank you for coming. Thank you for enjoying uh, this video. And thank you for sharing my rap and rave about the RK1 Up. And uh, hope to see you guys again pretty soon. Okay? You guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for, for uh, viewing my channel. And see you later!